Hey, boys and girls, can you keep a secret? You sure? Come closer. I'm about to tell you the secret, give you all the tea on Vaseline. What? Vaseline has a secret? Oh, yeah. Vaseline has been perpetrating. Vaseline has been lying to us. Vaseline has not gave us the full scoop. And it's not all bad. Let me tell you. I'm going to tell you her secret. First of all, Vaseline was not always a clear substance that we know it as today. That clear substance, we look at it, it looks pleasant. We don't mind putting it on our lips. We don't mind putting it on our hands. We don't mind putting it on our faces. We don't mind using it as a moisturizer for our dry, crusty feet, rusty elbows, chapped lips. It's great for all of that. It's great for squeaky hinges. Vaseline can be used for many, 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 many things. But guess what? Originally, people were turned off by its appearance. Why, you ask? Because Vaseline was originally a nasty, greenish, goldish colored goop, which was referred to as rod wax. Yes, Vaseline or its evil sister that was golden green in color was used by oil drillers. What they noticed is when they would get cuts on their hands or injuries when they were drilling for oil, that they would put this nasty byproduct of drilling on their cuts and burns and injuries. And they found that it healed quicker. So they believed that that green goop actually hastened wound healing. And so the workers kept using that nasty jelly on their butt, on their cuts and, and burns. But guess what? When the person who invented Vaseline tried to market it, nobody was interested in buying what it basically looked like baby poop. Do you want to hear the rest of the story? I hope you do. I hope that's why you tuned in. Because have I got some interesting information for you and you probably don't even know it. Do you know who invented Vaseline? Do you know the history of it? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Without further ado, Robert Chesbro. Have you ever heard of him? Mr. Robert Augustus Chesbro, born January 9th, 1837. He kicked the bucket on September the 8th, 1933. He was an American chemist who discovered petroleum jelly, which he marketed as Vaseline. He was the founder of Vaseline and manufactured it in the Chesborough Manufacturing Company. Now, he was born in London to American parents on January the 9th, 1837, and he was a New York kid. He was raised in New York City. He married Margaret McCready on April the 28th, 1864, and they had four little brats. Chesborough began his career as a chemist clarifying kerosene from the oil of sperm wells. Now, remember back in the day, they used to use sperm well oil to light lamps. And so that's what old Chessie was up to. Now, the discovery of petroleum in Titusville, Pennsylvania, rendered old Chessie's job obsolete. So he traveled to Titusville to research, what's this new material that might be created that I could use as a new fuel to replace milk and sperm wells for their oil? So as old Chessy was strolling around the oil field, he found out something from the oil riggers called rod wax. Now that's that old nasty green baby poop looking substance that I told you about earlier. Now, What Chessy found out is that this jelly-like substance that was cleaned off of the pumping equipment, it was a pain in the butt to the oil riggers, except for one thing. It helped heal cuts and burns. If you rubbed it on the injury, it would lessen the pain and it would make the injury heal quicker. Old Chessy, he saw an opportunity to make some money there. So then he named that old nasty baby Dookie 
Vaseline. In 1875, Chessie founded the Chessbro Manufacturing Company, and it was the leading manufacturer of personal care products for the time. Chessie, also known as Robert Augustus Chessbro, patented the process of making petroleum jelly. He got a U.S. patent in 1872, and by 1874, all the stores were selling Vaseline jelly. Over 1,400 jars of Vaseline a day. Chessie success stemmed from a firm belief in his product. He really believed in Vaseline. Before he began selling the nasty jelly, he tested it on his own cuts and burns, and he found a way to refine it so that it would be more like we see it today, this clearer jelly, which was more pleasing to the eye and people were more willing to buy it. Chessie was unable to sell any into the drugstores until he traveled to New York City demonstrating his miracle product, which like I said, he would put on his own cuts and burns. But Chessie didn't stop there. He would burn his skin in front of the audience with acid or an open flame. Then he would spread the clear jelly on his injuries while demonstrating past injuries had healed and he claimed by his miracle product. In reality though, Vaseline doesn't heal cuts and burns, but what it does is it forms a layer over the injury and it prevents dirt from not getting into it. And so back in Chessie's days, infections was a leading cause of death. Vaseline also works by trapping the moisture ends. And so the dermatological societies to this day recommend putting Vaseline on wounds and cuts and lacerations to promote wound healing. I did six years of dermatology and we used to use not antibiotics, not Neosporin, but just Vaseline. And it would keep the skin soft and help you to heal without a scar. To create create a further demand for his product, guess what Chessie did? He gave out free samples of Vaseline. And he was the one of the first people to do that hustle. What? You giving out free Vaseline? Sign me up. I'll take that. Chessboro opened his very first factory in 1870. The first known reference to the name Vaseline is in his U.S. patent. Now, his U.S. patent read, I, Robert Chesbro, have invented a new and useful product from petroleum, which I have named Vaseline. I always wondered where that name came from. Well, it turns out that the word is believed to come from the German word Wasser, which means water, and ancient Greek, Aelion, which means oil. Chesbro lived to be 96 years old and was such a believer in Vaseline that he claimed to have eaten a spoonful of it every day. Now, don't try this at home, guys. That sounds gross. He died at his house in Spring Lake, New Jersey at the age of 96 years old. But check this out. During his lifetime, old Chessie had a serious bout of pleurisy when he was in his 50s. And he had his nurse rub him from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet with Vaseline. And he made a quick and miraculous recovery. And he credits Vaseline for that. Now, if you want to go visit Chessie, go right on ahead. He's buried in Woodlawn Cemetery in the Bronx, New York. Now, there are many uses for Vaseline, and I'm going to give you some other tidbits. By 1870, Chesboro was marketing his petroleum jelly by the name of Vaseline, and within 10 years, the product's increased exposure and popularity meant that every household in America had a jar of Vaseline. Can you imagine? Chesboro expanded his businesses to Canada and the United Kingdom and various British colonies around the world. By 1880s, Chessie was selling Vaseline nationwide at a rate of one jar per minute, and most medical professionals recognize Vaseline as the standard remedy for skin complaints. It does work, guys. By 1911, the company began opening operation plants and factories in Europe, Canada, and Africa for manufacturing and distributing the product. Chessboro's invention was so 
wonderful and it claimed as a medicinal product to aid the healing of cuts and burns and it was used during the first world war and the second world war to prevent and help soldiers heal from cuts and bruises and to prevent sunburn many 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 medical officers kept tubes of vaseline with them to treat minor cuts and burns during the second world war vaseline was commissioned to produce a sterile antiseptic wound dressing containing petroleum jelly as a result the brand vaseline became a patriotic symbol in the united states now i can tell you to this day there are still gauzes that are used and they're called um, petroleum gauzes and they're yellow you open it up and it's it looks like a piece of gauze but it's saturated in vaseline now what can petroleum be used for you can use it obviously for healing minor scrapes and burns moisturizing your face helping your pets you know how dogs can get little cracks on the bottom of their little paws on their little pads well you put a little bit of vaseline on it and it should help um heal any scratches and cuts on the little boo-boo's paws you can use it for hair grooming uh, as a pomade for your hair you can use it to help prevent moisture loss um it can be used to help keep swimmers warm when they're swimming in the water when training which was done when people were training um to cross the english channel they would lather their bodies with vaseline this is all interesting all right guys well i hope this has been interesting to you it was interesting to me this is catching up with crystal can you keep up with me because you never know where i'm going to be right now i'm hanging out with vaseline Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you know when new content is posted. Have a great day.